How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some more Zerath gameplay. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Zerath in Season 14 in the mid lane. Now, as for our runes, we're going to be running Comet, Mana Flow, Absolute Focus, and Scorch. This is really the main page for the early game to get the Comet and Scorch for the early game damage. And then, of course, for our secondaries, we have Eyeball, Collection, Ultimate Hunter. Absolute Focus is just because we're always above 70% health as a squishy maid. So we're going to get 30 AP from Eyeball Collector and Absolute Focus. So really strong in the mid game. And, of course, we have Ultimate Hunter to reduce our, reduce our cooldown as much as possible on our ultimate. For our build, we're going to be going Malganus into Rylize. This is going to allow us to pick off the squishy, guaranteed land all of our ultis. And then we're just going to go Death Cap into Voice Tap or Crypt Loon, depending on if, if they're really squishy. Um, for our other runes, we're going to be running Attack Speed into Adaptive into Flat Health. We're not going to do Scaling Health just for the sole reasons. Uh, we're just trying to survive early. We're a Scaling Champion, so if we can survive early, it's going to do wonders. Because, yeah, I'm sorry. We're just Scaling Champion. Imagine, like, we're a Kale or a Kasten. Like, if we just survive early, we've done our job. Ooh. scary comma a lot of times in the mid lane we just want to keep this lane even you really don't want to go past the middle marker so we're gonna let our push in a little bit for our combos all we're gonna be doing is a w into a q and we're gonna land everything and we would never miss but you always want to start off with the slow just to guarantee our q damage because we are going to be maxing our q first sorry i'm getting minions it's so hard to do intros and get like proper like minion farm oops I gotta trim out this wave. You don't want the wave to crash, so you do want to continually match the wave. If she's pushing, you push. Just try your best to make sure it doesn't crash. And make sure, if you do have to use uh, abilities to farm, make sure you get those cannons. Never miss cannons. They're worth too much gold. I will give advice when you do want to poke, try to poke when your minion, like the enemy minions are full health because you don't want to do a poke and minion your CSing. CSing is the most important thing ever. So since there's no like low health minions around, we're going to throw our W, R, and a Q. Karma is shielding it. She's a pretty decent counter to Zerath. So she does shield up all the damage early, but we'll be able to do a lot of damage once we have our first back. Another little WQ since the full health minions are around us. Now, as for a lot of people ask like, oh, don't you want to proc your passive on champions? It doesn't really matter. Post under under a turret. Nice, our volley bear should be coming in. Got our first blood. Popping a potion. Should always pop a potion during the fight, not like at the very end that's kind of my mistake rookie mistake from the Zerath. that's all good uh i do have hell potion running i do have red buff so i wonder if she has flash i don't think she does she does no shot my minions don't turn around wait dude my minions were paid off it's not my fault all right but we're gonna get a lost chapter i probably should just bought tp back we got our last chapter pretty big I have been testing out a build for if you want to change up your build if you think you're gonna be carrying you don't die a lot you can go magi second actually Malganus into magi has been like great success oh she just ran scaredy cat scaredy cat scaredy cat so whenever they back or you get a kill you do want to hard crash in the way so she misses as much xp and gold as possible oh she is not tipping back oh she bought really slowly Looks like our Diana friend is going to be going, uh, what do you call the item? Storm Surge? By the way, we don't go Storm Surge anymore just for, like, look at the scaling on that. 15%. They nerfed that thing to the ground. When the game, like, when the patch first came out, I mean, like, season first started, Storm Surge had a, like, a 40%, no, it had a 30% AP ratio. It's, they cut it in half, then base damage just cut down to... Oh, I was hoping she would dodge. Unlucky, but again, we're just playing towards our turret, prioritizing minions. Karma's trying to really, like, pressure early. And if you know, she's down by, like, 10 CS for the fact. But this is why attack speed's so important in the early game. We're able to manage the wave to where we don't have to use too much uh, abilities on the wave. But, like, you see she is spamming Q on the wave, so we're gonna throw a Q. Q 
He does red buff. All right, so now we have ulti. We're gonna be looking top. Gonna be checking bot. We're gonna be looking for low health bars. And this is how we're gonna be really winning our solo queue games is because having high impact with our ulti is how you are like, become the better Zerath player, honestly. Um, they said they're fighting. There's full health, so I can't really do anything. I don't want to overcommit. All right, since she's going, I'm going to go too. Nice. It looks like she got that. A nice little stun. I'm gonna hit her back just towards us so she doesn't jump away. Play if other people CC. Nice. Some nice easy kills. And of course, since we got a kill, what are we gonna do? We're gonna push in the wave. Let Volley Bear do the objectives, but crashing the wave so she loses as much XP and gold as possible is the more most important thing you can do so if you are facing like big tip if you're facing people like fizz like people who roam a lot you need to punish them when they roam you need to a danger spam danger ping that they are roaming and b you need to punish them for roaming so you want to crash in the wave you want to push it in it looks like she's going for a dragon not much i can do we're gonna wait the 10 gold for my malignus i don't know how to say it. i'm so sorry this Name is too hard for me. I'm a league player, right? Smaller worths. Pretty please. But oh, we're already in three and one. But this item is so great. It does give our us uh gives us our ultimate haste, meaning it reduces our ulti cooldown by almost 20 seconds. I should have showed you what it was before, but at level six, if you don't have this item, your ulti cooldown is about 108, 101 seconds. But once you buy the item, it reduces it by 20 seconds, which is ginormous. Our ulti's already up in 10 seconds, and it feels like we just used it. Show bada beam bada boom. Let him know my mid laner's missing. And of course, like I said, when your mid laner's missing and you can't match the roam, you're going to push in the wave. I can potentially hover with ulti, but I think getting two tower plates is just going to be more worth it. It looks like they're doing just handy dandy fine. I can almost get this one more auto attack. Nice, we got two turret plates. Our bot lane did die. They did greed a little bit too hard for staying alive. I'm gonna try to push in one more wave. There is a few above me. But I know a lot of times in solo queue, people are like, oh my God, you didn't match Rome, but like, take a breath. Let's take a look at this. She has 48 to my 68 cs i'm up a level i'm up 20 cs i got two turret plates so it's worth more than a kill so like crazy worth it for us so i'm gonna take boots gonna get a dark seal dark seal is just all around a great item it's cheap you don't need to upgrade it because like even if you just hold on to it for stats this can give you the same amount of ap as buying a needlessly large rod when it's fully stacked and if you are doing really well we can just upgrade it later and it gives us some health, which is always nice for survivability. And like, if you notice, like, I'm not even doing anything fancy. We're just like farming. We're just going even. Not any like crazy outplays. We're just trying to play scale, playing to survive, playing for that mid game. Okay, I think they're on dragon. Yep, they're on dragon. I don't want to clear that because I see Diana down there. And like, she's prioritizing fighting me instead of farming, which is a big win. Look top, look bot. Looking at low health target, especially since our ulti is up. Again, we're just prioritizing farming because farming is everything. Bad W. Uh, is that minion? Yeah, we get cannon. I was worried that it was gonna be like. And again, for harassing, we're just gonna do a nice WQ combo here in a second. It doesn't work always, but like, if you do land the W, it's pretty much like guaranteed that we can land the Q. He's looking to get a Mantra Q. Not much I can do. Can we get this potentially? I'm gonna let him know that I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah. 
Nice. Get the ulties. Throw our ulties and then we leave. It's okay. She's trying to cut me off, but it doesn't really matter. I have Volley Bear here. They're able to get up that kill. But communication makes such a big difference. Like, you need to, like, let your team know that you're looking for a play. Tell them to go in. Because I'm using my ulti to get them low. Don't use your ulti to be like, oh, I'm just going to take a kill. Now, if they're low, by all means, go and take it. But realistically, the best players in the world... I think kind of kind of close to me. But, like, they, we want to get them low. Like, you get them low so your team can pick up the kills. Like, I'll pick up kills. I'll eventually pick up kills. But a lot of times, like, initiating fights with your R, if you don't do that, your team's not going to be able to get the kills. A lot of times, people are just too scared. You have to do it for them. You're the carry. Run, now, let's run. All right, so we're going to get a health potion, get a blue post, um, blue things. Just TP back mid. Again, we're prioritizing farm. We're making sure we're up in a lot of the cs because cs is the most important thing in this game don't try to harass nice thunder under tower gonna take a turret shot karma is kind of like giga broken right now but it's fine we have a hell potion that's why we bought it all right we have ulti up we're gonna look tops see if we can potentially help don't think we can it is a fiora How sad. I look bot again. Look at the help bar. Maybe potentially look top. I don't want to overcommit. It looks like they're doing chicken nuggies. Nice little pick off right there. Just kind of baiting her in since I have my team. Just like that. And like we're just playing near our tower. We're just like we're realistically playing slow. We're not doing like high octane, like super aggressive playing past our wave. Like you start playing past the halfway marker in your lane, you're just gonna get caught out. Non-stop getting caught out. But all we're doing is constantly looking top, constantly looking bot for potential plays. And we're just gonna clear this. We're making sure this is not worded. To let him know that I'm on my way and make a play. One, two, three. Easy peasy. And we're not going to overcommit. We threw our ult who's got the play is going to get the reset. Because Karma is going to come back and push in our mid wave. And we don't want to miss out. Because guess what? CS is the most important. I'm going to drill that into your guys' head. So you guys don't forget. It is the most important. And I would like recommend like choose one build like if you want to go i i always recommend the safest and best build is going to be malganus rylice death cap void now if you want to do a very snowbally build super high fear carry build malganus magi's death cap is going to be your build and again we're prioritizing the cs over harassing even though i'm up six kills on this karma i'm prioritizing these minions over harass every day of the week ulti is already back up in 20 seconds man that cooldown is just so heckin short all right since so she's out of the way she is really fast very hard to hit but even then like even when we're facing a even when we're facing zeds like realistically i'm not even getting kills from the mid lane i'm not even killing karma i've only killed karma two times karma's over here screaming like man this air is getting so bad it's because like i'm impacting other lanes Looks like they're fighting bot potentially. Jin has ulti. Karma's over here. I hit her. Might as well make her get off it. I hear a Jin ulti going off. I'll get the Janna. Oh, we're gonna get her. Gotta help this guy out. But look how look at our position. Like we're playing far back. We're playing safe. I clear this pink ward. Nice, we got our flash away. And our team's gonna get that, so I can guarantee it looks like they're backing off dragons. So I'm just gonna head back to my lane. If they were still contesting, I would still be there with him. But since I know for a fact that uh we have it guaranteed, I'm just gonna go back mid and guess what? We're gonna farm. I'm just going to crash this in because I want to take a back. Every time you want to back, try to crash in your wave. 
get a nice little reset i'm not gonna greed for this tower i could stay but i think it's just better overall to get my power split because i don't want to get caught out we're worth a thousand gold and we give it to diana caitlin fior it's going to be a very hard hard game the best players the highest challenger players you know what they do they don't give away shutdowns for free shutdown is how you turn games so fast you learn how to keep your shutdown you're going to win more games guys my team's going in, so I'm going to follow up with our ability. That's so one of the best things as a Zerath is we can follow up with every fight. When fights are starting out, guys, we're ulting at the start. We don't ult at the end of fights. We ult at the start. We ult to initiate just because, like, guess what? Those guys are more focused on dodging Volibear, dodging Nami. They're worrying about other things in the fight that they don't even realize that Zerath is ulting half the time. And since we got... What? She dodged? She's too fast. That was stinky. Oh my god. That champion was OP. I can't hit her. She's too fast. Like I said, she's a pretty big counter to me. Very big nuisance. It's fine. I'm going to take my reset. We're going to go death cap. And then we're going to go mage eyes. I don't want to upgrade my mage eyes just because like at this point, I think it's going to... Uh, what is it? 1150? I could, but I think it'd be better if I just go for... Uh, just the power spikes faster. Yikes. Okay. Now for side landings for when you're playing mid is realistically we just want to we don't want to push far out we just want to hold the wave so I'm just going to stay under tower soak the wave and just try to group back, back up with my team because guess what we're a squishy uh, mage and we can get dove real easily she doesn't have ulti so I'm not too worried about her but she, if she did have ulti I'd be terrified to hold this wave and we're just going to take this safe route back Oh, I missed the sun. How sad. I'm gonna pop ulti to help my team catch up. Okay, I was hoping she was gonna go flash. It looked like she was hugging that wall to flash over or Q over. Or trying to get fancy with it. Oh, I missed cannon. Such. Okay, we're gonna go back. I think since we're, like, we're doing so well, we can go mage eyes. And we're just gonna go death cap right after him. But Rylai's, I feel like, hey, in this new meta, like, we're already doing so much damage. Everyone does so much damage. So having the health is really nice for survivability. But then also, like, the slow from your Q ability and your R makes it so you can, like, almost guaranteed land all of your ultimate ability, which is so big with our ultimate build. I just say ultimate a lot. Will YouTube suggest my video to more people? Ultimate, ultimate, ultimate. Taking, taking a greedier route. I've ulti in 10 seconds, but I'm just going to hover since. Kill. I'm being chased, so. Got Nami following. Got the stun. Got the follow up. Done deal. And we're just going to help push. I don't know what happened to my volley bear. be able to take this for free oh they surrendered well if you guys do enjoy this video make sure you hit the like comment down below what you want to see next and let's take a look at the damage charge real quick before i say bye bye but please hit the like button it helps out a ton it really does let's see it damage shards boom we oh, oh man we barely lost oh my god if you did so much damage but again i hope to see you guys in the next one